Hey YouTube, this is another video on what preppers should have in their uh, store, in their gear, and what I believe is important for you to have if you want to make non-drinkable water palatable and uh, make it drinkable. But um, what people would do back in the day, they would take Clorox or iodine and they would purify the water. You just take a gallon of water, a quart of water, make um, the appropriate amount of drops in that water, let it sit for 30 minutes, and then um, you'll be able to drink it. You'll be able to consume it. What I would have done, even if um, I was back at the time when they were purifying it like that, it was a simple method, I would boil it first, put the Clorox in it, or vice versa, Clorox, boil, and then filter it. If I didn't have a filter, then I would definitely boil it just to... Um, minimize the chances of me getting any um, microscopic bacteria in my system. Now if you're going to go with the pool shock to make the bleach you need to make sure that it has hypochlorite, I mean, excuse me, calcium hypochlorite in it and it needs to be over 50 percent calcium hypochlorite. Let's see what this is. This is 52 percent. I don't know whether you guys can see that. 52% so that is definitely um, good to, to actually use to make Clorox in order to purify the water. Now over here I have the um, Sawyer water filter and this filter actually is in my bug out bag. It filters all of your water down to 0.1 micron absolute which is a very good low number for filtered water and it also gets rid of everything from bacteria, E. coli, um, cryptosporidium, giardia, and it filters up to 500 gallons. So what it does is it, you take the water and you put it in the bottle, screw the top back on, and it goes through that filter. I don't know if you guys can see it. Okay, there you go. It goes through that black uh, filter, ceramic filter, and then it, it makes it easier for you to, um, to be secure in the fact that you're, you're drinking some safe water. Now, this is the oldest method that I know outside of the Clorox. This is the cationine water filter, and this is self-explanatory. You stick the tube in from the bottom, um, pump the, the cationine uh, device, and it comes out through the, um, the top hose and makes the water uh, safe to drink. And my favorite of them all, which is the uh, SteriPen. I have not used this in order to filter any water or make it safe but this uses UV rays and then it has a straw right here uh, with the filter. Let me see if I can focus this in. Okay, so there you go. And what that does is pretty much um, uses the UV rays to filter the water once you uh, have it collected. And then you have the, what is this, Coleman PA Plus neutralizing tablet and the um, drinking water purification tablet. So those are right there. And these are some of the methods that I use pretty much to make water safe. Now if you're going camping or hunting and you run out of water, if you don't have one or two of these options, your best bet is to boil the water and then maybe filter it through uh, um, some kind of cloth or something and then drink it. I don't know. You have to make a judgment call. The biggest thing is is protecting yourself from microscopic bacteria and uh, giardia and things that can hurt you that you cannot see in the water. So be safe out there and make sure that you prepare. Thanks for viewing. A Woman's World out.